Hey, Maribel Ramblers, welcome as usual. We're going to go over today a little bit of our rebuilds, uh, rentals we've done on this 2017 32 foot Salem bunkhouse double slide. Not everyone, because uh, we've posted some of it already, and we're just going to cover the some of the things that we've changed up to date that have been uh, kind of major for us. We hadn't owned an, uh, an RV or motorhome in 30 years, so this was a new experience. It looks pretty fancy. Of course, if you lay on these any of these beds, you're going to take an injury. It's made for packing lots of people and sitting and yakking and I guess watching the TV, which you can barely see from any seated position. So we knew some changes had to be made. This was the original bed setup, and that bed was basically springs with a piece of nylon on it, and in the cold, those cupboards are deep and dark, and they'd get wet. So Katarina being a designer, we decided to change things. The kitchen was good. The rest of it, mm, not so. So she wanted an office in the back. We began that. No problem. It's really just two by twos behind the wall, the paneling, some insulation tin on the outside. It's not that hard, not that scary to rip apart and redo. So after our first takedown, this was the result. This is Gonzaga Bay, Baja, Mexico. You can see we left some of there on the left, the original. Um, we added her office there. She's working out of there. There's my little area there, uh, eating some storage. We were having problems with the rear kitchen, which we never used, and it had a problem leaking as we were discover. The frame was bent for the door. The previous owner had hit something and bent the frame. Uh, we're not going to say anything about that because we've bent a few things in our time too. But you can see here, water was coming in hard when it rained. And we were having a few issues with things, so we were thought, let's just get rid of this thing. It's been a year and a half, two years. Let's put it back to stock. Get rid of everything we built. When that was a challenge too. Uh, but Katarina again redesigned something and we got her together, ready to go. Let's go down and pick up a lightly used Tiffin or Numar, something we've always dreamed of. But those slightly used Tiffins and new Mars aren't all they're cracked up to in between fifty and 250000 Canadian. Whether it's a travel trailer like this one or the lightly used Tiffin, they're kind of all the same. Not probably going to last much longer than what we have and costing us a whole bunch more. So we decided to go home and rebuild. All this... We'll figure out which tank that is. I believe it's the gray, only the gray. But does it come from the bathtub in the kitchen and the uh, sink too? I don't know. Uh, the air vent, we can change all that. We're probably going to drop that out. And we figured out that tank is just a gray and we turned it into the washing machine tank, as you'll see. Laundry stuff and your washing machine right there. So that's pretty cool. She's pretty happy with that. And we'll have to redo the plumbing under here. I'm going to get rid of that. I want the outside shower gone. We don't use the outside shower. No, we did post a video on removing the outside shower. Plumbing goes together for the washing machine. Inside the closet. Here. Stuff stresses me right out if you can't tell. So this is going to go like that, correct? I think so. Uh, down, yep. Yes. Right? Down. It's off right now. That's on. Off. On. Okay? Okay. And then he always goes around a couple times. Yeah, we got to plug that in. Okay, so we just did the air test. We're not losing any air. Am I pulling this? No. Leave Nothing the under there. Leave these plastic on so yep, she's about to put the load in the wash. Okay, but you got to plug in, plug me in. I don't know. It says that it's going to start, so I'm going to hit, uh, I don't want to hit delay, I want to hit start. Yes. No, start. Start. Procedures wash, that makes sense, yep. right? Um, 52 minutes. 52 minutes, okay, yeah. Start. Yeah. Are we ready? <laughs> okay, we're starting it now. Fine, I don't know why it turned off. Oh my god. Well, well we can, let me, uh, I will set that up. I, I'm not going to videotape that. We're going to gloop it. 
uh, screw it and uh, carry on from there. Don't try this at home, folks. She's an experienced professional. Do we want to fold it in half? Yeah. I think uh, we've got nothing to lose. It's kind of a Thelma and Louise situation as far as insulation goes. It's a Hail Mary. Absolutely. I might wonder for the base on top. Yep. Should we want to do? No. We're not there going to now. Start. Bill's got all of his ladies in the back. Needed re insulating. Look at this. This post river. Both closets are the same. I guess you're supposed to have us hanging things here before. But right. what a bunch of wasted space. I can't hear you. Because I'm not talking to you. What's that? If, if you're talking to yourself, don't do that. Because that, you know, I'm trying to, yeah. Ex oh. Yeah, we've been doing this a long time. Yeah, she's a bit of a builder, as you can tell. She's been raised among contractors, and it shows. Just misses the slide out. It's perfect. Huh? Make it vet. Shoe rack. Now, Forest River only had half the fanaticism the anal is. But they don't, so we ended up doing everything that we did. Now here's in La Paz, uh, an update, so to speak. Because the repair videos and random videos, we could fill a couple hours. It's our little work table outside. It's 25 to 30 Celsius every day. Just a beautiful working situation. The closet, one is done. This is what it looks like. The insulation is in. Paneling, much more usable, much more user-friendly. Hers is not done yet. Uh, it's on the to-do list. Oh, and this. The uh, TV is going to go. We we don't use it. It's a, it's a good TV, but if you look at the seating out there, even when it was stock, you're basically... It's not a good situation to watch TV. Shoe rack is done. Comes in from both sides. Little shelf there, and she made these weedy uh, shelves for the piano. And the keyboard in action. And then I can stretch out my feet. Okay, and put it back. Prove that it works. There, now you've seen it. We like to do, uh, at times, late night Christmas music. Maybe we'll show you sometime. It's my little area. Much more storage. Much more storage, and we supported that roof that was uh, uh, not too well on the slide. We made a video on that. The bathroom, we put made those doors. Um, way more storage. Oh, the light bill. Fantastic. Love the washing machine. And the storage, which wasn't there before. And, of course, we should put this in here. And these just pop out. They've been all sealed up. So you can just pop them out for a bath or a shower. And uh, we don't really need a drying rack anymore because we have one. We've added a few more bars since. Get around the tacky mini guitar. Let's, there's the uh, that rocking chair we've had for 30 years or more. Her new little recliner. She's building a writing desk. That's in the works. Oh, I got the 10 4 and the girls are working hard. There's the guitars up there. There's Pops. Rest in peace, Pops. Miss ya. That's the TV stand we're building for the TV that's going to be on wheels so we can move it around because, yeah, we do want to watch the odd movie from time to time. Of course, you got to have an air compressor in the kitchen. At least we do. And fresh homemade bread is on the way out. It's for the bedroom. Uh, you saw the closets. We did add a new mattress, uh, about a foot thick pillow top, uh, which is very much enjoyed. So that's about it. Next up, we'll be doing the Levantana and the La Cerritos RV parks, I believe, unless we find something else to throw at you. Adios, amigos.